Hey, how are you? I'm uh, Ben Nathan, and we're here tonight to uh, talk you through how to use social media to boost your viewership, boost your audience, and involve your current audience. So if you're just joining us, uh, I want to say welcome, and uh, thanks so much for being with us tonight. Uh, very exciting content to uh, share with you and to involve you in uh, to make sure that, that we're all on the same page and we can harness all the social media tools that are out there to, uh, to boost our audience and, uh, and grow them and, and have them interact with us during our web and TV broadcasts. So um, the title of our talk tonight is Using Social Media to Boost Your Audience, and that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to go through all of these tools in depth, and we're going to take questions throughout. So um, moving along, I just want to tell you what we're going to cover tonight. Um, so we're going to talk about how to get connected with m and Manhattan Neighborhood Network, uh, via social media. And we're going to talk to you about how to share your show. So if you're a producer on the network, um, or really if you're a producer of any kind of digital content, we want to talk to you about how to share your content and really get it out there to, to a wide audience and to build upon the audience that you already have. Uh, we're also going to talk to you about how to connect with that audience. How do you involve people, the people who are already your fans and the people who are about to become your fans? How do you involve them in your content? How do you make them feel that what you're doing is interactive and that they want to be involved? We're also going to talk about uh, using live stream as a tool and uh, that you can use to get your content out there and how you can integrate it with Facebook. So I'm going to walk you through step by step how to install the live stream app onto your Facebook page. And we're going to go through all the steps of how you're going to do that and how you can really integrate those two social media tools uh, together. And last, we're going to talk about interacting with your audience live, whether your show is pre-recorded, whether you're doing pre-recorded content, or whether you're broadcasting live like we are here tonight. Okay, so let's get right into it. So we want to talk, before we do anything else, we want to make sure that we're connected with the network that we're broadcasting on, which is m and Manhattan Neighborhood Network. And so to do that, we want to make sure that uh, all of our different social media tools are aligned. And we're going to go to the m and homepage, mnn.org. And if you go down to the bottom there, you'll see, uh, you'll see the social media area that has links to all of MNN's social media portals. Right, so let's take a closer look at that. We have uh, the YouTube portal, we have Vimeo, we have blip.tv, we have Facebook, and we have Twitter. Okay, so Facebook and Twitter, I'm going to assume that most people know what those are. Probably YouTube too, right? Vimeo is, is kind of an alternative to YouTube. Um, YouTube is a little bit more viral friendly. Uh, Vimeo is a great way to host very high quality video, get it out there to people, build collections, and share that way. So it's a, sort of an alternative to, to YouTube, but I wouldn't recommend excluding any video service. Also, blip.tv is a great way to get uh, series content out there. Uh, blip.tv helps to syndicate your program that's in a series, episodic uh, series. So you wouldn't just put one video on Blip TV, but if you have a whole series that you're doing, like if you have a show here on MNN, Blip.tv is a great way to get that content out there and get more uh, people watching and even get some advertising revenue out of it. Okay, so uh, we're going to look first at Vimeo's page. So if you click on the Vimeo link from MNN's homepage, uh, th it'll take you to this page. It'll take you to, to MNN's Vimeo profile. You want to make sure that you click on the Follow tab, and it's really that simple. And of course, this is, uh, this is assuming you've already set up a free account on each of these services. So if you haven't done that, please make sure you do that. It's free. And uh, again, these are all wonderful tools that you can uh, use to boost your audience and harness them to, uh, to make sure you're growing as quickly and as largely as you can. Okay, so we're going to follow uh, m and on Vimeo. And we're going to do the same thing on YouTube. On YouTube, uh, they call it subscribe, same kind of thing, right? And on Facebook, it's a like. Everybody's got their own name, but it's basically the same thing. We're making sure that we're connected across all these different platforms. And uh, again, on Twitter, it's following. Okay, so we're going to make sure that we're connected. And, and MNN's uh, Twitter uh, handle is at MNN59. So if you want to tweet tonight uh, about the program, just make sure you're using that, uh, that Twitter handle at MNN59, or you can use the hashtag MNN1. Okay. So, speaking of Twitter, we want to talk about how do we share our show. So we've got this show 
we're broadcasting, we're on MNN, we're on a network, and uh, we want to get it out there to people. So what are the best ways that we can do that? Obviously, the show is broadcasting on, uh, on MNN's uh, network, which is on television, but how do we boost it using the internet, right? So MNN's got a great online portal where if you go to MNN.org, you can see the different channels. We've got channel one, channel two, channel three, and channel four. Tonight, we're here on channel one. And uh, you can see this is pretty much the window that you'll see when you click on, on channel one and you can click play and it'll play exactly what's broadcasting live, right? So we want to tap into that portal. What we can do is we can share using the share button on the bottom uh, right hand area of the screen there, right where the red arrow is. If you click on that, uh, you'll be able to share. We're just looking at a close up view now. Uh, you can do multiple things. You can either share the, uh, the page itself. You can embed uh, the channel, the MNN channel that you're on, on your website. Uh, you can email a link to people. You can post it on Facebook and you can post it on Twitter. And we're going to go through each one of those things in depth. So if you're going to post it to your wall, what happens? So let's go back for a second. Let's say I click on the Facebook uh, or the Twitter uh, buttons here. Two, uh, two screens that would pop up. We get the post to your wall screen for Facebook, and we got the share a link on Twitter. So uh, if you look at the upper upper area, that's where the Facebook uh, area is, and it would give us a brief description that comes from MNN's website of what the MNN channel is, and then you can say something like, "Hey, watch my show tonight at eight o'clock. I'll be live. We'll be tweeting with you, and uh, you can interact with us. We'll answer all your questions about social media." That's a little bit long-winded, but. Uh, for Twitter, we want to keep things as brief as possible. So for Twitter, everything has to be uh, very, very short. And so we want to take what they've written already, make sure you keep the link in there, and you can adjust it as suits you for, uh, for your purposes. You can tell the name of your show or why you want people to watch or what you're going to be talking about in that episode. And again, this is whether you're broadcasting live or whether you've done a pre-recorded show and that's, you just are promoting the airtime of that show. All right, so moving on here, this is how we can embed uh, a, uh, a channel from MNN into your web page. Really cool tool. I'm going to start from, the, from, uh, from scratch a little bit here. We're going to go in more, much more depth later, but uh, essentially embedding, for those of you who aren't familiar with it, is taking um, a piece of a website or a piece of something. In this case, it's the video player and the chat window from MNN's channel that you're on, uh, and it's putting that code that references all that material into your web page. And so this is assuming you have a web page. If you don't have a web page, you can create one pretty easily. We're not going to cover that tonight, but there's lots of resources for that. Um, and this is a great way to have people go to your site and view your show on your site. So instead of having to see it on live stream or instead of seeing it on Facebook or instead of seeing it wherever else it might be playing, they can go straight to your website and see your show. So it's perfect. Um, it's perfect for that. We're going to talk about this in more depth in, in terms of how to customize this a little bit later in the show tonight. So we want to talk about how do you connect with your audience? How do you make, uh, how do you use all these tools to, to make yourself accessible to your audience? Because that's a big deal. So um, one of the ways that we can do that is through the chat panel. And we're going to do this, uh, we're actually going to practice this tonight because we're going to be able to interact through the chat panel tonight. And that's how we're going to take questions in addition to phone calls. And uh, if anybody wants to send a messenger pigeon, we can try that too. All right. So uh, if you click on the chat window, you see a few things come up here. Um, and this is just kind of a, what you see on the right-hand side is just a blown-up view of what you see on the left-hand side. The three chat options are using live streams chat feature. So let me take a step back here. And all of their broadcasting using live stream, which is a great service that allows us to stream all of our programming live. So we've got four separate channels on TV, and we also have four separate live stream channels that appear on the internet. So live stream has a chat feature where anybody can sign up, make a username, and start chatting right away specifically about that channel, about the show that's airing. So that's one way. The second way is Facebook. You can use your existing Facebook account as a chat client, a way of chatting um, about the show or about the channel. 
And then there's Twitter as well. You can use your Twitter name, your Twitter username, to tweet back and forth about the show. So I'm going to show you exactly how this works. Um, if you are, want to use live stream, excuse me, then this screen comes up. You type in a nickname. I would type in Ben, and uh, you, I can, you can either log into your live stream account if you have one, or you could create one, and then you're, you're, you're in and you're chatting, and it's very simple. You could also use Facebook, and as soon as we're done looking, at will show you how to do this. Um, and you can check in and chat. It's a great way to, uh, to use your existing account to actually interact with your, with your guests or with your audience. And last, we can use Twitter. And each of these tweets that you, that you do when you're talking about um, a show or about a, a channel uh, really appear in your Twitter stream live. So let's take a look at that. I'm going to switch over to my browser right now. And here we are. Uh, this is our show. And if I click on the chat uh, feature here, it's going to bring me to this, to this page here. So we see ourselves. And I'm going to pause this so we don't get that crazy uh, looping effect. But basically, if I scroll down here, you'll see this is the live stream area where I've already logged in. And it looks like people are already sending in questions, which is great. We're going to get to this in a little while. Um, and here, Facebook, if I click check in and chat, and you should try this at home. If you're watching either online or on TV, grab your computer, grab whatever you've got around. It, it might even work on your iPad. Give it a shot. And click on check in and chat. And here we go. You can post it to your wall or not. I've checked in. We can see who's here. So far, it's only me, so run to your computer now. And people who are chatting can come on in. And uh, so if I want to say something, I can say, hello, please ask some questions and say hi. So I'm going to say that. And this doesn't go into my Facebook feed, but uh, it does show that I've checked into this, to this area online. So here we are. Hopefully some other people will join us soon, hopefully you. And with the Twitter tab as well, we can start chatting. So what I would do is click on Start Chatting, and I'll type in my username and my password, and authorize the app, and here we go. So again, I'm going to say, um, welcome to our webinar on social media. Oops, questions, welcome. Now, I'm going to use the MNN hashtag, MNN1, and I'm going to mention uh, MNN59, and then I'm going to tweet that. So oh, it looks like it cut off a little bit of what I was saying. It might have been a little too long, but that's OK. Um, OK, so I think, I think hopefully everybody's getting the hang of this. I invite you to join me online and start asking questions. And again, so far it's just me on there, so please, uh, please log in. And it looks like we have one question, which I'm just going to skip an answer right now. Uh, I don't understand the reason of the number sign and the at symbol in Twitter. Seems too much work for me. OK, well, uh, just very briefly, uh, the number sign, we call it a hashtag in Twitter lingo. And that's basically to create a topic that people are talking about. So it's an easily identifiable way to talk about a topic and then view other people's comments about the same topic. So we've chosen to use hashtag, so it's the number symbol, MNN1 as our hashtag for tonight's show. So anybody who's talking about that, if they use that phrase in their tweet, then we can see, we can all see it and we can have a conversation. And it, it creates a really great way to interact with people quickly. Um, and then the at symbol is just using the person's name. So it's like saying, hey, Ben, how you doing? Right? I use somebody's name when I'm talking to them. This is the same way. This is how you do it on Twitter. You use the at symbol and then their Twitter name. So MNN's Twitter name is MNN59. My Twitter name is at Footage Films Inc. So it just depends on, uh, on what you're using. But you know, it's nice to address a person by name. That's the same kind of tool. OK, so let's go back to, uh, to our slide deck here. And we've talked about you know, these three chat features. And we're going to talk now about how to install the live stream app on your Facebook page. So live stream, again, is the, is the tool that we use at MNN and that you could use uh, elsewhere as well to stream our content online. So we create this show. We have a feed in the studio. 
uh, of the video signal going out and it's going out to the broadcast network so you can see it on TV and it's also going out to live stream simultaneously which is putting it out all over the internet and supports I think at least 500,000 viewers at a time so you know I, I challenge you to get get to that viewer number um, so we're gonna we can use the live stream app which they've built specifically for Facebook to embed the stream of your show onto your personal Facebook page which is great because it, it, it eases, uh, it makes it easier for your entire audience. If they're already friends with you on Facebook or if they're already a fan of your page, then this is right there for them. They don't have to go anywhere else. It's very accessible and it's easy to interact. So let's talk about how to do that. So if you go to apps, here's the uh, address here, apps.facebook.com slash live stream. And I don't know if we have the ability to put that up on the screen for people to see, but it's apps.facebook.com slash live stream. I know I'm keeping, uh, keeping the folks in the control room on their toes, um, but thank you for doing that if you can. Um, and let's take a look at exactly how we would do that. So here we are. I've uh, gone to this site already, and we're going to click on Connect Facebook to install. Okay, so here we are, and I've got all these pages that I control, and I'm going to allow um, live stream to be integrated with those different pages. So um, here we are. I'm going to say, let's, let's put it onto footage films. So I'm going to choose to, uh, you know what, actually there's a, there's a way that we're going to do this. It's a little bit different than what would be obvious here. So if you, if you are using uh, MNN's portal, then you want to do this. We're going to click at the bottom. It says here very, uh, very small. It says looking to use an original live stream channel, which is currently what MNN is using because it's a great tool. Um, we're going to say click here, and that's what we're going to use. And you, I can choose which page that I control that I want to install the live stream app on. So just a quick aside here, a page, a Facebook page is different than your personal Facebook profile. So I'm going to say that again, a Facebook page is different than a personal Facebook profile. A page is a, something that you've created using your profile. Uh, and it could be a page for your business, a page for your band, a page for your show, a page for your store, a page for your restaurant. I could go on. You get the point, right? So you, uh, one person's profile could have many, many pages that they control. So I have uh, a few pages here, and I'm going to say, let's do, let's add footage films. Uh, let's add live stream there. So I'm going to click on add page tab. And I want to add live stream here. And here's our footage films page. And you can see live stream just got added as a tab here. So what I could do is I could customize this to, um, to put a specific uh, channel or a specific live stream uh, feed onto my page. So I'm going to click here at the bottom again. And I'm going to say I want to use an existing channel. I'm going to use MNN uh, to put that onto my page. So I'm going to say use existing channel. And let's try this here. And I'm going to use another channel, and I'm going to use the MNN channel. So how would I get to that? How do I know what the MNN channel is? So if you're following along at home, let's start from scratch here. We're going to go to MNN.org. And, oh, look, they put our webinar up there. That's very cool. And we're going to click on channel 1 down here. And then I'm going to click on the, oh, I'm going to pause this so we don't get any looping. Uh, then I'm going to click on the chat uh, feature here, and that's going to take me, as you can see over here, to livestream.com slash MNN community channel. So I'm going to copy that, uh, copy this last part here, MNN one community channel, and we're going to put that into our Facebook uh, page that's requesting the channel name. So I'm going to paste that in, and I want to show the chat because that's a great way to have people engaged. And I'm going to select channel, and here we are. So this is MNN channel one. It's on my Footage Films Facebook page, and so anybody who's already a fan of Footage Films is going to see that. And then personally, my, with my personal profile, I can share that and uh, promote it to the people that I'm friends with personally as well. So it's a great tool. It's a really easy way. I know there's a few steps involved, but it's a really uh, easy way to integrate your existing show onto your existing friend network on Facebook.
So let's go back and, and we're going to take questions about all this stuff later. So if you're confused about anything or I'm going too fast, write it down and or, you know, chat with us and we're going to we're going to keep going back to those questions. I'm going to check that question board right now. And uh, let's see, there was one person who wrote in. Um, it's apps.facebook.com slash livestream. So make sure that's apps.facebook.com slash livestream. Okay, is there a way to automate sending programs to Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, etc., or do we have to send them one at a time every time we have a new program to share? Great question. Um, so the answer is if you're embedding a channel like we, we, like we just did onto your Facebook page, then everything that's on channel one uh, or whichever channel you choose, it's going to be available on your Facebook page. So let's say your show comes on every Thursday at 8 p.m., right? So that channel, channel two, is going to be available all the time on your Facebook page, but you're going to post extra stuff leading up to every Thursday at 8 p.m. So you can let people know, hey, it's Thursday at 6 p.m., get ready, two hours, we're going to be live, and you can participate with us, you can type in your questions, you can call us, right, etc. Um, so that's, that's, it's, it's both. You want to be able to, with Twitter, you're going to be constantly posting things to build your audience, to remind your friends and your viewers that you're connected with that, uh, that you're going to have the show going live shortly. So, uh, and with YouTube, the way you would use YouTube is you would take the archived show, like let's say you finished uh, streaming the show and you have a recording of it, you would upload that to YouTube or you would upload that to blip.tv. Um, so those are things you would do after the fact, but you can still use that to, bring, uh, to boost your audience and to boost your audience for future live broadcasts as well. Okay, so uh, let's just check our chat panel one more time and see how we're doing over here. Facebook, all right, we got one more person in there, good. And Twitter, not so much right now. Okay, great. So it looks like a lot of people are using the live stream chat, which is great. I'm really glad to see that's working for folks. Okay, so let's go back to our slide deck, and we're going to move past the live stream app here. And uh, so we talked about all this. This was uh, more detail into using this and embedding it onto your page. Now we want to try this at home. Okay. So at m and there's two ways that people do shows. There's what we're doing now, which is a live broadcast, and there's a pre-recorded broadcast. So I'm sure there's some of you who do both out there. If you pre-record your show, what you want to do is publicize the link to your show. So whether you're putting that show, whether you're embedding it onto your website, whether you're embedding it on your Facebook page, whether you want people to watch it on MNN.org, wherever you want people to watch it, you want to promote that link and you want to um, promote the broadcast time in advance so that you're prepping your audience, you're growing the audience organically from your existing network of people that you know and you're, you're getting them ready so that they're going to watch the show. Then you can join in a live chat about your show while your show is on the air. So if my show, let's say this show was pre-recorded, right? It plays, I don't have to do anything, I'm sitting in my living room having some popcorn, and I'm on my computer at the same time watching the show and chatting with people who are also watching the show. So they know that I'm the host and they can give me feedback in real time about the segments that they like, about questions they want to ask for next time, things they might suggest. I want to involve my audience so that they know that their voice counts and that we're uh, a team in creating the content here, creating things that they want to watch and that they want to participate in actively. So that viewing goes from being a passive activity to being an interactive activity. And that's what is so revolutionary about social media and about bringing all these shows online. It really becomes an interactive activity which is great. Okay, so uh, that's number two. Number three is connect with your audience in real time. So just what we were saying, use these tools. Use the live stream, Facebook and Twitter chat. Uh, use a phone line if you want to do that uh, to connect with your audience and to, to let them know that their opinions count and that you want to hear from them. If you produce your show live like we're doing right now, again, you're going to publicize the link and the broadcast time in advance. So when I was walking over here, I was tweeting about it, I was putting it on Facebook. I want as many people watching this as possible. Um, so, and I wanted to make sure that they knew that we're going to be 
tweeting with them live, we're going to be on Facebook with them live, and we're going to be on live stream with them live, and we're even going to provide a call-in number soon for people to call in and ask questions so that they they know that, hey, this is not just Ben talking to me for an hour. This is, I get to call in and ask my questions, and I get to chat in and be part of this process. Okay, um, so bring your laptop with you to set, just like I did, right? Bring it with you during your show. You can, let's say you have a guest, you're doing an interview, bring your laptop with you, and you can open it up to the audience for questions. So they can ask your guest any question they want, and even if there's a question that pops up you don't like, you don't have to answer it, right? You can move on to the next question. We're not going to do that with you tonight, though. Okay. Um, and then we're going to connect with the audience in real time. Again, this, makes pe this has people feel that they're being heard, that they're a part of what's going on. If they're interested in the topic you're covering, they can participate in that. And that's a big win for everybody here. Okay. So, in a broad sense, what we've learned to do tonight is getting connected with MNN via social media, uh, learning how to share your show through all the different social media tools and outlets, and connecting with your audience. How do you make sure that your audience uh, is, um, how do you make sure that your audience is connected and interacting with you? Um, and we learned how to install the live stream uh, Facebook page, uh, and we learned how to interact with our audience live. Um, so. What I want you to do right now is I want you to, we're going to put up this number for you. Uh, it's 212-757-1483. Okay, so we're going we're gonna to take your calls very shortly. And when there's a call coming in, they're going to let me know. We're going to go over to the, uh, to the web page here and see, let's see, what size and length do the videos have to be? Is it the same for all these outlets? It's a great question. Okay, so... Um, What's great about Livestream is that it's a really um, adaptive tool so that uh, any, first of all, if you're producing your show with MNN, they're going to make sure um, that the, oh, let's see, sorry, I'm just getting a quick message here. Uh, the laptop display is, okay, so let me see. If I make this smaller, let me know if this, let me know if this helps. Is that better? I want to make sure everybody can see what we're doing. Okay, if, there, if that's better, let me know, guys, in the control room. Um, so if you're producing your show at MNN, um, they are, they are going to make sure that everything is to, uh, to scale. They're going to make sure that everything is the right size and length, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, and YouTube as well, and uh, YouTube is very adaptive so that pretty much anything that you upload is going to be able to be used by YouTube, and you can push it out to whatever, uh, to whatever way you want to share it, through Facebook or Twitter or live stream or any other tool. Um, I'm just going to try one more thing. Is Guys, is this better if I make it larger like that? Let me know if you want me to change it again. We, we're versatile here. Okay, so um, so we're ready to take questions. If you want to uh, ask, ask any other questions uh, through live stream, through Facebook, or through Twitter, or we also have some folks here in the studio audience, um, we're going to open it up for questions. Or if you want to call in, again, the number is 212. 757-1483. Uh, you can also email your questions into comments at mnn.org. That's C-O-M-M-E-N-T-S at mnn.org. So we're here for you for the rest of the uh, show. So uh, let us know if you have any questions. We can walk you through anything uh, in depth and we'll, um, and we'll take it one step at a time. So anybody here in the studio audience have any questions? I don't want to put you guys on the spot, no? Okay, we'll let you think a little longer, but I, we'll come back to you. Okay, great. Um, oh, great. So we're going to talk about embedding. Um, so Aladino's show, we're going to talk about embedding again, exactly how it works. Um, thank you for reminding me. So let's go back uh, to the MNN page, and we're going to click on the Share tool here. And let me zoom in a little bit so you can see this. There we go. And I'm going to click on Embed. And when I click on Embed, it gives me lots of different options. <clears throat> so what's cool about this is you can choose. If you, this, so this is assuming you have a website. So I have a website, footagefilmsinc.com. If I want to put a live stream channel, like MNN1 for tonight, onto my website, I can do that. And I can customize exactly how that's going to look. If I just want to have the video player, I can do that. If I want to have the video player and the chat panel next to it, I can do that. I can control the color, I can control the size, 
I can control if the video starts playing automatically when somebody lands on that page or if they have to click play. So let's go through all the options right now. So here we go. If you click video player, the default option is, which is giving you the preview of what you would eighty. This is in pixels, 480 pixels by 295 pixels. Of course, I can change that if I want to. Um, I can also just embed the chat or I could do these two things separately if I really wanted to. Um, and then I could do the combo widget, which I actually like a lot. But what I would prefer to do is do them side by side like this. So um, we're going to we're going to take that caller in just a moment. I know we have a caller calling in. I'm just going to finish talking about the embedding first and then we'll get to that call. I'm glad somebody's on the line. Um, <clears throat> so what I would prefer to do, and this is the one I, I use myself, is uh, the video window and the chat window side by side. And again, you can change the size in here based on what your website looks like and how you want it to appear. And if you go back to video player, you can change the theme color. You can change all these different kinds of things, auto mute, auto play. And then you're going to take this embed code and put it into your, into your uh, website. So if you're using WordPress, you could put it into a portfolio page or a web page and it'll, it'll appear there. So it's a really pretty simple way uh, to, to share this on your website. And you would use this for your website, not for Facebook or Twitter or any of those tools. So we have a caller. Uh, if we can patch that call through, we'll, we'll take the call. Hi there. Hi, who's this? Hi, this is Rich. Hey, Rich, how are you? I have a question about um, embedding, the, uh, embedding the song, embedding the uh, video. Okay, great. From, um, from m and &M. I noticed on somebody else's website that they had embedded the video and, but I went on a different day and it was showing a different show. Is there a way to embed it in a time specific way? If my show comes on at 10.30, can I, can I embed it so just so it shows from 10.30 to 11? That's a great question. So the way that uh, MNN has live stream set up right now, um, it's really only streaming the entire channel all the time. But on the, on the website side, on your side, you can, uh, let's say you're using a WordPress website, and I don't want to get too in-depth into this right now, but, but just in short, what you can do is you can uh, make, that, make that page on your website live or disable it, or you can uh, copy and paste the embed code, take it out of that page, and put it back in. So you don't have to have it there all the time. That's totally up to you. Right now, there's not an automated way based on the specs that we're using to uh, just have it broadcast your show. However, once your show has aired after the fact, if you put it up on YouTube or you put it up on Blip TV, you can take the embed code of that show only from YouTube or from Blip and put that onto your website so that that's just your show and it's archived and you can have all the shows going back as far back as you have them. So I hope that answers your question. Um, let's go back to our chat and see if we have anything else uh, coming in there. Um, Great, so we talked about embedding. I'm glad that we were able to cover that. And let's go back and check Facebook and Twitter. Okay, so let's see. Okay, great. So we're waiting for some more questions to come in. And uh, again, I'm going to take you just through uh, the, the embedding a little bit more in depth here. So we had, the, we had the colors that we can use. Now, video library is not something we're going to want to do only because um, what we want to encourage our users and our producers to do is to archive their shows. Uh, first of all, they are already archived at mnn.org. And if you want to also create your own channel on Blip TV or connect with MNN's Blip TV channel or use, the, uh, use your YouTube channel, you can archive all of your shows there. And that becomes your own sort of video library. So we don't need to use Livestream's video library. But you do want to use the chat and you do want to use the, uh, the video. That's a great tool free to use for your website. And again, here's the combo widget. You can uh, choose different sizes and you can customize it and you can figure out how you want to embed it in your website and you can enable it and disable it at different times based on when your show is going to air. Now, that being said, it's not a bad thing for you to have the channel running all the time on your website because the more that you're promoting other people on your channel, the more, they're, the more they can promote you. So if you get together with other producers who are producing on the same channel as you, it's a great opportunity to be able to co-promote each other and to, um, and to, to gain more uh, fans and more viewers and more people to interact with. Let's take another caller. Um, go ahead. 
Hello? Hello? Hello. I'm calling. I'm just wondering, in my show air, uh, it only showing up like maybe two viewers that's showing up on the uh, on the website. So one, is that an indication of how many viewers that you actually have or showing up on the website? Uh, the actually TV channel is, is bigger. I was trying to figure that out. Right, that's a great question. So the question is, uh, again, how do you measure your viewership? Right, so there's, there's a number of ways to do that. So we, we don't always know where people are watching, right? They might be watching on TV, in which case we're not going to see that number appear on the website. And they, all, they also might be watching on, online. If they're watching online, you see down here we see six viewers. So there's six viewers online who are watching, but there could be, you know, 200 watching it uh, on TV. There could be other people watching it through other channels. So we don't always know. It's not an, it's, that's not a strong indication of what your viewership is. That's just uh, the number of people who are watching it on this website right now through this portal. So, um, so I hope that answers your question. You know, you, do, it's, you, want, you may want to encourage your audience to watch you through your website where you're embedding your stream. So if they're doing that, then they're all in the same place. They're using the chat feature and you can interact with them and you can see how many people are watching and you get an approximation of how many people are on. Okay, great. Um, what is the tag to connect my YouTube MNN's website? Let's see, to connect my YouTube video to MNN's website. So, so uh, that's, that, that question is coming from Brian. Uh, that's a great question. So first of all, if you have, um, thank you. Uh, if you have um, your own YouTube channel, what you you do want to stay connected with uh, with MNN. So you want to use MNN's name, their YouTube username, which is MNN NYC. So that's three N's in a row, MNN NYC. And you want to put that tag in there so that every time somebody's searching for MNN, you're going to come up. And again, that's promoting you, that's promoting them, and growing both of your audiences together. So it's a great way. Cross promotion using social media is a way to really grow your audience exponentially. So it's a very, very smart idea. <clears throat> and again, you want to make sure that you're subscribed to MNN's channel on YouTube as well. And uh, you want to make sure that you can you list the link to MNN. Uh, on your on your YouTube description as well. So let's take another caller. Hey there. Hey, how are Thanks you? Thanks for your great show. I'm fine. Um, how about making money? You mentioned that before. I'd like to know more about that. Sure. So uh, this is a little bit outside of the scope of what we're going to talk about tonight, but I'll touch touch on it briefly. Um, first of all, uh, with YouTube, you can monetize your YouTube channel. So if you have a personal YouTube channel uh, that you're uploading your shows to, um, there are ways to monetize that using YouTube. And um, I can uh, see if we can pull something up along those lines. Uh, it's, it's something in terms of enabling advertising. So basically, when people are advertising on YouTube, um, if they're advertising on your content, you can get a piece of that. Okay, over but time. that doesn't that doesn't make a difference with my producer's agreement with MNN or anything, right? I'm sorry, say that again. It's okay with MNN if I do that. As far as I know, and uh, I'll ask the people in the control room to just give me a final word on this if they know. As far as I know, uh, you can do with your content what you'd like. Once the show is done, you can put it up on your own channel. And I believe that you own your own content, but I'll just wait for final word from them. Um, and then the same thing is with blip.tv. Blip blip.tv is a way that you can take episodic content and upload it to their website. You can be approved as a producer on Blip TV and uh, you can then start to monetize your content. So it depends on who's watching it, what the advertisers are, and um, if I can just, if you guys can just scroll up a little bit, I can see what uh, the entire phrase that you're, uh, okay, great. So what they're telling me is in terms of the ownership of your content, it needs to air first, and after it airs, you can do whatever you'd like with it. So this once it's, fabulous. yeah, so it's great. And it's, it's you know, it's your creative, uh, content, you know, you want it to air first on MNN, everybody's promoting each other, and then you take that and, you know, if you can uh, use it to monetize it in some way, then that's great. And again, YouTube and Blip TV have those tools uh, built into their services. That's exactly what I needed. Thank you so much. Great. Thank you. It. Have a good night. Good night. Okay, terrific. So, um, so we're touching on a lot of different points here. This is, um, this is very exciting. Uh, how do you spell it? Dot TV. So, Blip.tv is uh, one, of the, one of the tools that MNN has on their homepage. So I'll just go back to that for a second so everybody can see what that is. It's blip, 
.tv, so there's no .com involved. And um, great, and here we go. So if I click on this, it's blip.tv, and MNN's uh, profile on Blip TV is blip.tv slash MNN TV. And so you can see some of the episodic here. And again, everything is episodes on Blip TV. It's like a TV uh, station, right? Just like MNN is. Um, and MNN's, uh, you always want to make sure that you're tagging MNN and all these things. Because again, when you're promoting MNN, you're promoting yourself. When MNN uh, is tweeting and going on Facebook and going on Blip, they're always promoting their producers as well. And that's a great way for everybody to boost their audiences together. Again, it's blip.tv slash MNN TV. And, um, and that's, that's a way that they can post episodic content, and you can do that as well. So you want to post, make sure you're posting episodes of things, not just in individual videos that you want to get out there. If you want to post an individual video, then Vimeo or YouTube is the way to go for that. Every tool has its own uh, strength, and so Blip TV is, is a place for episodes uh, to go. Okay, great. So we're going to move on, and we're going to check out our chat window and see how we're doing. Uh, another question here, uh, should we give access to our Facebook to Blip TV? That's, that's up to you. You know, um, people have different... Um, you know things that they're comfortable with with MNN. Uh, sorry, with uh, with giving access to different apps to their Facebook account. Um, I think if you're going to use a tool all the time and it's a popular tool like Blip or like Livestream, then it's probably safe to do that. But again, it's up to you. You've got to see what you're comfortable with. You can always try it and then disable it later. Um, but a lot of the apps that you're going to install on your through your Facebook account are going to ask for access to different things. But again, you can, uh, if you're going to install an app and you don't want it to be allowed to post on your behalf, you can just X out that option and you don't have to, you don't have to give it free reign over your entire account. Um, great. So let's check our other channels here, Facebook, and great. Okay, so we had a few questions down here. That's terrific. And make sure that we're checked in. Great. Okay, so this is exciting. I'm glad we're getting so many uh, questions here. We've got about 15 minutes left. So if you have any questions, you've been sitting at home and you're kind of wondering whether you want to call in or, or email us or do anything, uh, connect with us in any way, do it. This is your opportunity. I'm here for you, so please, uh, please feel free. Again, the phone number is 212-757-1483. And uh, you can also email at uh, comments at mnn.org. All right. So uh, again, I'm going to ask our folks in the studio audience, if you guys have any questions, feel free to raise your hand. I'll get to you as soon as, uh, as, soon as we have a moment. Um, another question, how do, we, how do you reach the most viewers online? I think if, if there was one simple answer to that, uh, it would be a whole different landscape out there. But um, it's really going to be a combination of using all these tools together. All the social media gurus that I speak with, uh, all the people that are strategizing for big corporations, they're using a broad spectrum of tools. And it's really all the tools that we're talking about that you have access to for free. So it's Facebook, it's Twitter, it's YouTube, it's Blip, it's Livestream. It's all of these things together in order to reach the most people. But finding ways to co-promote is one of the best ways to multiply your viewership exponentially. Because think about it, if I have 500 fans on Facebook, on my Facebook page, and I connect with a friend who's got another 500, and we are promoting each other, the possibility to connect with another 500 people suddenly appeared. I don't have to go one by one by one by one. So finding those strategic partnerships is so key, so important. You promote somebody else, they promote you, and those are great kind of deals that you can do. There's no money involved. You don't have to pay somebody back and forth to promote you. You're doing it for each other, and, and everybody's benefiting. And the viewers benefit because they get access to great new content, and then they can interact with you. So um, that's what I would really recommend. That's the biggest uh, bang for your buck. Um, and and it's, it's the way that you're going to grow your audience the fastest. Um, so, and, and, you know, think about also, you know, there may not... If you have a show, let's say about, if you have uh, a music, show, you know, maybe the person that you're connecting with is not another music show. Maybe it's a theater show, 
so that you're both, uh, you're both hitting audiences that probably like both of those things, but you're not competing on the exact same topic. So it's not music versus music, it's music and theater, and then you can both grow your audiences that way. So start thinking in those, uh, along those lines. Look at the other MNN shows that are out there and see who you might want to connect with and, and, and reach out to those people. Great. So let's see here. Okay, I'm going to just pause for a moment here, give people an opportunity to, uh, to get their questions in. Again, we're at 212-757-1483. And yes, we have a question, uh, question in the audience here. No? Oh, I answered it. All right, good. I like to hear that. Okay. Cool. Okay. And what, you know, the other thing, what, like I was saying before, the, one of the great things about all these tools is that they're free and you have access to them right now. All you need is a computer and an internet connection. You can even do it from a lot of it from your smartphone or from your tablet device. Okay, great. So let's take another look over here. Um, <laughs> how's the weather in New York? Ah, so, so. Uh, today was a little bit rainy. Uh, yes, we have a question in the audience. Yes. Uh huh. Okay, so let me rephrase the question for everybody in the audience. Um, so the question is if you have a, face, if you have a page on Facebook, uh, how do you get it out to the most number of people and grow your audience as quickly as possible without just going one by one by one by one? Great question. And uh, I think it's something that a lot of people struggle with um, because in the end you do have to have one person at a time click that like button, right? So how do we hit the most number of people with your content and get you the most probability of getting more and more likes? Instead of just asking your friend and asking your other friend and asking your friend's mom, right? So. Um, one way is, first of all, utilize your, your personal Facebook profile. So get it out there, start talking about it. Um, and then you really want to make those strategic partnerships. Uh, you want to use your own Twitter account. You want to use uh, your own YouTube account. You want to get things out as much as you can. And then you want to get other people who you're connected with to start talking about it and talking about it to their friends. Um, and you'll see there's some analytics about this that you can access on your Facebook page that tell you what the reach is of a given post. Like you might only have three people who like your Facebook page, but the reach might have been 200 people. And how does that happen? Well, because people's, if people, uh, if I like something, my friends see that I've liked it. So my friends might not like that page, but they can see what I've liked. So the reach expands exponentially very, very quickly. So the more you can get people to start talking about your content, to start talking about your page, that's when you're really going to get those uh, bigger views. So it's all about uh, the partnerships. And what are you going to do for them, right? You want to also be promoting other people. And, um, you know, the more connected you are, the more it's going to do for everybody. So that's, that's, that's what I can suggest is the best way to do it. And then, you know, if you're producing content that people want to watch, they're going to want to connect with you, right? So those are, those are the big keys. Um, is there a certain time of day or week that we should post and promote the show on Facebook to get the most viewers or followers? That's a really, really good question. So, there, you know, there's different times that people are online. If you're targeting people in a given, in a certain geographical region, like if I'm targeting people in New York, probably the best time to post is not 2 o'clock in the morning because most people are sleeping around that time. Um, unless your specific contingent is usually up at that time, right? So um, you want to see, you want to start posting for people when they're, when they're online. If you're sending out an email blast, probably a great time to do it is first thing in the morning, like six or seven o'clock in the morning. So when somebody opens up their inbox, that's the first thing that they see, right? If you bury it at, around lunchtime, people are just coming back. They've got things to do. They, they might miss it, right? You want to hit them first thing. If it's social media and uh, you're, you know, you, you would uh, say that you, most of your contacts are checking social media throughout the day periodically, then by all means, you know, post during the day. But again, posting at off hours, like in the middle of the night, it's not going to be helpful to you. Um, and, you know, so you, you want to kind of get a sense of when the people that you're connected with are using their social media outlets. But again, if it's email, based on all the, all the things that I read and all the, all the work that I've done, first thing in the morning is a great time to do it. Um, certainly 4 p.m. on a Friday 
is not when you want to hit people with an email. Okay, um, so let's move on. If you have any other questions, we've got about eight minutes left, so feel free to, uh, to ask them. I'm so glad so many people are connecting with us today. Um, is it helping m and producers to promote their shows online? Absolutely. Every time that you get another viewer, every time that you promote your, yourself, your show, your content, um, you're growing not only your own network of viewers, but you're growing the whole m and network of viewers. So, so think about it. You, if I'm an m and producer, I want to get every other producer who's on the network to be using social media and promoting because every time they're promoting themselves, they're promoting the network, which is indirectly promoting me. And I can gain viewership and fans and, and, uh, and people to interact with from those, from those partnerships. So uh, this is something that you should be encouraging everybody in the network to be doing, which is why it's a, such a top priority for m and which is why we've been doing these, these webinars. It's really, really a terrific way to get the word out, to get the viewership up, and to expand the reach of your show internationally, right? m and shows broadcast on TV in New York. On television, they're not going to reach outside of this area, but on the internet, they reach all over the world. So that's one of the huge advantages. You know, if you've got a fan base in, uh, in the middle of the country, they can watch your show when it broadcasts live because of these, because of using social media, because of uh, the internet broadcast that we're doing here. So, uh, so this is a terrific way to expand your reach, and the sky's the limit because we're talking about all over the world here. <clears throat> okay, great. So uh, we've talked about uh, embedding. We've talked about connecting with all the different social media outlets. We've talked about just going through again briefly. We've talked about how to uh, use the, M the existing m &N social media channels, um, to, which are down here, to... Uh, to connect and expand everybody's networks exponentially, right? And this is really what it's all about. This is about growing your user base, getting feedback from people so that they feel involved in the content that you're creating, right? If when you have that dialogue, when you have that back and forth, uh, you can start to improve what you're doing. You can uh, know what your audiences are interested in, give them more of what they want and involve them in the process. And uh, that's when you really start to see big returns. Um, so that's what I really uh, encourage everybody to do. Start interfacing with your audience and, and letting them know that their opinion counts and that you want their, their interaction. Okay. So again, we're, we're open for questions here. The number is 212-757-1483. Uh, we've got just a few more minutes left. So if you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to call in. Um, and let's go back to our chat for a moment. Is there any difference between using live stream and Ustream? That's a great, great question. Let's touch on that briefly. So live stream and Ustream are essentially competitors. They do very, very similar types of online streaming. Here at m and we've chosen to use live stream. Um, it's not to say that you couldn't use live stream if you wanted to do something uh, independently, but m and has chosen to use live stream uh, it's been a great service for us. We've had a lot of success with them, so uh, we're happy to continue using them. And um, but by all means, you know, do your own tests, try things out, see how you can expand your reach. Um, again, all of these tools uh, usually have um, usually have um, uh, free options. So uh, let's take one more call. We've got another caller on the line right now. Hello. Hello. Yes. Hi. Hey. Who's there? Oh, Larry. Hey, Larry, how are you? Go ahead, Larry. So my question is, uh, is this going to be replayed someplace or someplace where we can, I can receive this? I unfortunately only came in in the last 10 minutes. Sure, yes. This is going to be archived on m &N's, uh, website. And, you know, that just like your shows would be, uh, this, this show will be archived on mnn.org, so you can access this after the fact, and you can go through step-by-step step and make sure that you're clear on how to use all these different tools and uh, and uh, make sure that that each one of these is something you can implement for your show. Thank so, you very much. Thank you, Larry. Thanks for watching. Great. All right. Um, so again, uh, we got a couple more minutes left. I welcome any phone calls, emails, tweets, Facebook posts, you name it. Uh, come on and join us. Um, let's see. Lynn just asked us, is this going to be replayed in the coming weeks? 
And again, you can access this, the archive of this show on MNN.org. This is actually the third webinar we've done in this series uh, where we've covered the same content. And, uh, and it's been a great, uh, great run. It's been really a pleasure to come in and work with the producers here to build their audience and to go step by step so that everybody feels that these tools are accessible to them. Um, so it is going to be on MNN.org. Feel free to watch it and uh, feel free to email in with questions. Um, if you want to connect with me over Twitter, my Twitter uh, username is, so it's the at symbol, and it's Footage Films Inc. So it's at Footage Films Inc. Uh, I-N-C. Feel free to, uh, to connect. And um, I see a couple thank yous coming in. Thanks so much for uh, watching, guys. Uh, it's been really uh, exciting, like I was saying, to see these, to see um, the growth that's, that's happening as a result of these tools being made more accessible to everybody. Uh, okay, so we're going to just take a look one more time for any questions that might have uh, come up on Facebook. I see a couple more people checked in here. And, okay, great. So uh, we're just going to give you guys just a, more, just a little bit more time to ask questions. We've got about two minutes left. So if there's anybody else who wants to, uh, to call in or, uh, or chat with us here on live stream, um, please feel free. Great, and again, you can watch this again on MNN.org. Um, and uh, I really appreciate everybody watching. I hope that you can use these tools to your advantage. Remember to create those strategic partnerships. Watch MNN, see who else is out there, see who's doing something that might complement uh, your content, and make a partnership with them. See how much, uh, see how much you can boost each other's uh, audiences. And remember that every time you boost your own audience, you're boosting everybody else's as well, because you're getting... The MNN name out there and the MNN network is where the strength is. It's all about networking. Um, great. Um, terrific. So in our last minute, I just want to say thanks so much one more time. Uh, my name is Ben Nathan. I'm uh, the director at Footage Films, Inc. If you want to check out our work, we're at footagefilmsinc.com. And uh, you can connect with me on Twitter. Footage Films, Inc. is our hashtag, is our, sorry, is our uh, username, our handle. And um, I hope that you'll... Uh, uh, I hope that you're, uh, you'll, I just got a message from the control room to tap dance. I'm also a tap dancer, so uh, that's on the next show, guys. Okay. Um, so anyway, thanks so much uh, for watching tonight. It's been a real pleasure. I really hope that you have a lot of success with using these tools to boost your audience and to boost your, your ratings. And uh, thanks so much for having me. Have a great night. Hello.